Okay, so I'm here with Harry Lawler and John Greeny. Harry is farming here in Balakala alongside his father, Joe. Harry, you're also hosting the Summer Open Day for the Better Farm Programme on the 11th of July. Um, just tell us a little bit about your farm system here, Harry. Um, sure, farming here with my father, Joe. Um, I suppose we have 100 and 120, 125 suckler cows with the bull now this year. Uh, we also, they're all brought to beef. Uh, and then we have a dairy, dairy calf to beef system as well on the farm. Okay. Um, along with, we also run a run a flock of yos and there's a small bit of tillage as well. Okay, and what way, uh, what the system you said you had over 100 suckler cows, what happens with the progeny? Uh, they're, everything is brought to beef or bred as we breed our own replacements as well. Okay, so replacements, that's going to be a big feature in the day is breeding. Uh, what is the breeding strategy here? What type of breeds are you running? Is it stock yeah. bull or AI as well? Or? Uh, it's all stock bull, so we've okay. uh, Solaire, two limousines and um, a Charlotte. Okay. Favourite cow type has to be a Solaire, like, so even a limo, a limo cross to the okay. Solaire is lovely. Yeah. Your limousine cows are obviously lovely as well, like, and there's right. two Charlottes and things in it. And, and they work out ideal for the system yeah, you're, and you're running too. There's black whiteheads being brought into the system as well, so we're just seeing how seeing how that goes we're only really into our second year of a uh, few of them those black white heads they're coming through in a calf to beef system you yeah. recently started that system since you joined the program what just very briefly what is that system what does it entail for you we buy we only buy calves in the spring at the moment uh, last year we did uh, around 55 uh, and this year we actually have 96 of them bought i think okay um so they're all they're all just, they're all brought to beef and a few of the nice heifers are picked off, maybe anywhere from 15 to 20 of them picked off for uh, for breeding. Okay, and I see looking around here, there's great grass here and I know you're making plenty of bales. We did a fodder budget and you are going to plant uh, some crops for, for forage crops. You did it last year, you got on well. Just what crops are you going to plant and how yeah, much maybe? We have, what, 12 acres of kale just gone in there. Okay. Just gone in there at the end of June. Um, so that'd probably be allocated to either weanling heifers or bull heifers. We'll we'll see how it works out. And then I have one patch of um, 24 acres of spring barley, and that'll go straight into fodder rape. So you know you're okay. talking anywhere from the end of August or the middle to the end of August that'll go in. So John, you're uh, Harry's Chagas Better Farm Advisor here on the farm. Uh, the walk is coming up on the 11th of July. We've heard a lot about the system here. What's going to be taking place on the day, John? Yeah, well look, we'll be talking about an array of topics on the day, but the main thing is, the first stop will probably be talking about the farm financials. Look, Harry knows himself in terms of last year with the drought and whatnot, variable costs increased, but he still managed to come in with a gross margin close to 900. Um, we'll talk about maybe the changes that he's made inside the farm gate since he joined the programme. So he obviously started the programme, he's coming in at maybe a gross margin of 600. He's, he's after lift, increasing that by 300, so we'll talk a small bit around that. Um, the second stop, we'll be talking about alternative forages, okay, okay. so trying to rebuild that uh, fodder reserve. I know Harry's taken out an awful lot of surplus bales and he's arable silage. He's also put in Italian ryegrass this year for the first year. Um, he's got three cuts off that to date um, and he's at, after putting in the field of rape there as well. Um, we're going to have Donald O'Brien then, he's going to be talking about the carbon footprint yep. um, of all the farms of the programme, but then particularly um, Harry's farm and how he's trying to reduce or become that bit more efficient. So using low emission slurry spreading. Um, we also have a demonstration in our trial, so on uh, can versus urea versus uh, protected urea, KN. Yeah. Um, so it'll be something to see on the day as well. Um, and then obviously touching on the breeding, he's a fine herd of sucker cows. Um, Absolutely, yeah, we heard all about the, the breeding policy there and that'll be touched on on the day. Finally, is the event KT approved, John? Yeah, the event is KT approved and we're running two times. Okay. Um, so the first one will kick off at two o'clock okay. and there's also walked in at five o'clock. Okay, so we've two KT approved events here on the 11th of July, two and 5 p.m. Thank you.